Good day, everybody. I'm Vince Spoto, and that's Sally Strong over there. And we're playing Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin. <laughs> and we're also streaming it, too. <laughs> and uh, why are we streaming it? Because I can. And it's a, it's a lot of fun for me. <laughs> I like uh, putting stuff together like this and uh, having doing multiple things uh, uh, in one thing, you know? Like uh, doing one motion, but doing many things at once. It's kind of cool, you know? Uh, it's like efficient to me, and I, I like to do that. So, um, anyway, we did a lot of buying. Hey, how's it going, Wim Raider? <laughs> oh my god, I'm Harry Potter! <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I, let it, I had to let it um, air out today. It's funny, because every time I move, I could feel like it, the stitches. <laughs> I could feel the stitches. <laughs> Anyway, I, I got a fragrant branch of yore the last time, and uh, you know, there, I could if I use it, I think I could I can uh, make my Estus stronger, and it may give me some money because I did some research, and I think I'm using the wrong heal, um, and I can get the heal, but I need some soulage, I need some souls, but and this might smoke me too, but I don't know. I just want to make sure I'm recording and I have everything going. How's it looking, uh, Room Raider? Hey, what are you watching it on, by the way? Uh, the stream, what are you watching it on? Your computer or the, the big TV that you got? Got hit with something there. I think that's probably the big guy there too. <clears throat> oh, thank you, thank you. I'm I'm adjusting as I as I go, you know, because as many guides as you get, like this OBS and broadcasting in general, um, you have to kind of mess with it. It's almost every system that you put together is unique in a way and you have to adjust it, you know, and mess and all that. But I also had to upgrade some hardware, <laughs> but it worked very well. You should, you should see, you're going to publish some videos. Um, and the last four videos I've, I've put it on almost lossless type of, uh, recording and they're very nice. Uh, it's even, they're better than the stream, you know? So it, it's been quite a fun experience, uh, working with the, uh, the hardware and trying to, trying to give like a good output, you know? See, I'm hoping that there's uh, an Estus, uh, a bone, not a bone shard, but a, what's it called? A bone dust. You know, and I think that there's a big guy here. You might as well buff up. Hey, you know what? I have the mechanics. Oh, speaking of mechanics, you know, I may, I may abandon for a little while anyway, the pyromancy. It's like, I think I... I want a little bit too much of, of, of from everything. You know, I'm being too greedy. Uh, I think with the pyromancy, I'm just going to upgrade it, but I'm not going to use it so much, you know. Okay, I, I hit hard. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. An Estus Flask shard, but I think there's something even... I think there's, um, well, the shard is what I came here for, but I thought there was a bone dust here too, but I could be wrong. But the shard is definitely bonus. That means that we would have to go to Majula. There was something, I thought there was something more, yeah. The knight armor, cool. <clears throat> because I was uh, hoping to buy the elite knight, uh, the elite armor, but maybe Sally over here is gonna look good in 
The knight armor. Hmm. No. 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 Sorry, Sally. You're not gonna get um, a wardrobe, a wardrobe change <laughs> until we get the uh, the elite knight armor. And I, I know I said earlier that, uh, like everybody uses it and all that, but um, it's a really good piece of armor. And for me, and the style of what, well, first this, you know, what do you call that? Fashion souls. <laughs> I'm looking at. Uh, Excuse me. I'm looking at uh, I'm looking at that too. Basically, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> All right. So <clears throat> anyway, I got my 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 shard. I suppose. Hang on. Let me see if I have anything to I um, to burn because I would. Well, there's my items here. No, I don't have any souls to pop, unfortunately. I popped them all. You know what? I have a little bit of patience, and we'll get a few more souls, and we'll get we'll purchase the the two items that I'm I'm really hunting for now. <clears throat> but for the time being, excuse me, I, I have a, a sore throat for some reason. I still don't know what that status thing is in the corner. Like I, I don't know why that happens. Anyway, let's go to um hmm. You know, let's go to Majula and just take care of the Estus shard because I'm kind of OCD that way and we'll uh, because jumping around in Dark Souls 2 with this uh, with the next gen Xbox what do you call this one Xbox one uh, because this was made for the Xbox 360 right <clears throat> that is a shard <clears throat> like this game was made for the 360 the Xbox 360 and then they um, they, you know, they put out a new version. They up it for the Xbox One S, which is fantastic. And it's 60 frames and all that. So I've never played the, this version of it, but it's very fast uh, load times. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, uh, so let's go to the this place. And I thought I was deeper. Yeah. This is where I think I was. All right. Thanks for putting up with me in the backtracking. I'm going to have a little bit more too later. Oh. Ah. Oh, well. <clears throat> okay. This is where we left off, really. Now we're getting into... Uh, what's this bonfire called? Lower Earth and Peak, right? Because I think there's like three bonfires here, uh, which is crazy. And now that I think of it, let's see if uh, putting my, my my soapstone sign down does anything, right? And I, I like I, I think I've said, I, I've completely forgot this area, so. <clears throat> and there's no trolls here, what's going on? Whoa. Uh, that is definitely my death. Uh, these pots are all poison. Okay. <laughs> this uh, this seems too easy. There we go. Okay. Well, that's a good start, ladies and gentlemen. I am a beast at this game. So if you guys want to see, like, if you guys want to be in awe of some Dark Souls 2 game performance, you're in the right place. <laughs> okay, so that happened. Oh, my summon sign disappeared. You know what? I'm going to put it down for you again. And let me put a Nessus. Oh, I got 10 Nessus flasks now. That's so hard for me to say. So let's grab this. Oh. Okay, good start. Good start. I like it. I really like it. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's do something here. I, I I need to fix myself up a little bit. 
Let me attune something else because this is... Uh, I'm going to do replenishment, but I'm not going to replace this one. I'm going to replace this one. And let's do replenishment. Uh, and we'll keep the, the dark weapon because that's what I've always kind of envisioned. And uh, what I did really... I, I just added the, the pyromancy, but I'm not going to abandon it. I'm still going to upgrade it and everything. But, like, how many, how many offensive weapons do I need in this game you know I, I was kind of overcomplicating the build so I'm just gonna take this off for now and and leave it this way and just use um, the, the dark magic buff because I think it's great and I, a lot of people seem to use it so I'm gonna explore what it is and I'm gonna keep the miracles and explore the miracles because really I think I'm only going to use two uh, ones primarily and they're I don't have them yet but they're they're coming and that's it, really. Uh, I think I'm going to keep on adding slots, though, because I reconfigured my stats, and I could add more attunement slots now and still stay around 130, which is my goal for the build. Hmm. That's a lot to say, right? So, anyway, I feel good with this. So, uh, and... I, I don't... Yeah, I noticed that the YouTube video... I'm just going to use a human effigy here, uh, Womb Raider, and I'll... <clears throat> Is that you? Like, I think it's you guys doing it. Because that last video went nuts, and it was like my first streaming video that I posted, which is like like totally low res, and it's not that good because it was my very... Like, I didn't know what I was doing, you know? <laughs> and it, I, I can't believe the views, and I think it's just you guys... Game, you're just gaming the system, right? I think so. Just tell the truth, Womb Raider. You're not going to... You're not going to... You're not going to wreck my ego. My ego. That's okay. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, you see what I, what I was doing here is I was just anyway what I'm trying to say in a long-winded way that I'm just going to use miracles and the dark buff, uh, and I'm going to focus on miracles because all right, I knew that was going <laughs> to. Where is that guy hitting me from? There he is. Wow, they hit so hard. You know, uh, let's try this replenishment because. I haven't really explored it. But I'm not going to get trolled with that guy and try to kill him from here. I'm just going to keep on moving forward. And maybe I should... Uh, oh, I am healing. Oh, I didn't think you could backstab him. So, replenishment seems like it's heal over time. Which is cool. What do they drop? I know what. I like the Titanite shards. Keep them coming. Right? I have to watch for guys that drop down here. Radiant Life Gem. Thank you. And the rest of Poison. Yes. Now, I know that... I thought you could lower this one down, but... Alright. I should downrate that message. <laughs> So I am still getting healed. So replenishment is is rather good. It's just that it's um, how do you say it? A little bit slow, right? But uh, let's uh, let's see how long it goes for a sec. It shouldn't be too long. I could probably kill this guy while I'm going to use this crossbow because it's super strong. Mm -hmm. I don't know about that. <laughs> he didn't really stagger. Oh, okay. I. Well, uh, I don't know where the fans came from. <laughs> uh, for the Dark Souls videos, anyway, I have to say. <clears throat> You know, while we're here, why don't I buff up? Because it's fun. I don't even know what I should be buffing up. But I think I'm just going to walk through because I don't want to get sniped. And I'll see what's on the other side here. I know there's two guys here. Alright, uh, I 
It didn't uh, keep uh, the replenishment on there. Well, what did you call it? Why didn't I do that? A, a cresting prayer. I, I took off the wrong one, I suppose. Maybe I shouldn't have did that. <laughs> like, who poisoned me? Was it those enemies that poisoned me? I, I, I didn't even know they had that ability. Crazy balls. Now, there's another guy here, I think. No, this is another area altogether. Alright, I am a little bit lost. More of those meanies. But I also have range, guys. Oh. Are you serious? Oh. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I think I do have an, uh, an item that burns me here. There we go. I'll just use this. Alright. Enough with the poisoning already. Sally. Come on. All right, can we can we go back to playing? Yes, we can. All right. These guys are full of poison. Fantastic. You know, it may be just better to rush them. Maybe not. Oh. Oh, it's the poison that I don't want. Great. <laughs> Oh, I keep on doing that, but what I can use is replenishment in this case. Oh, I didn't want to do that either. <laughs> you know, I have sometimes I do this to myself all the time. I, I have too many mechanics. Oh, I guess that's not a jump. <laughs> Let's do this all over again. By the way, no, I'm I'm happy that uh, people are watching it today. I, I realized that. Um, okay, uh, I'll see if someone wants a summon. Why not? It, it'll be so. It'll be fun. There'll be people out there that would want to play together. Even though no one puts their summon signs down here, but. Oh come on, man. <laughs> Where's my good old, my good old enemy? Is he being silly? Where have you been? See, that was a little bit crazy. And we'll see if I could fight this guy. I go in a little bit and just fight him over here. Ray board and cuffs. Hmm, cool. All right. Let's heal up. And let us buff up because I I thought to myself, why don't we just keep on beating all these guys up every time that we come here and then eventually maybe they, they will disappear. Oh. Wow. What am I doing, guys? What am I doing? <laughs> right. So, that was a disaster. What do you think? 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> focus, Sally, focus! Oh, is this where the... No, see, I'm in the wrong... The wrong spot, but let's see where this goes. It's probably to a nightmare, I'm sure. Well, Pike, that's kind of cool. These guys with their arrows, gosh. Is this where it came from? No, it's not. Hang on. Where is it? Yeah, it is, it is, but is there any... I should have got that time to, uh, when I got killed, to put replenishment on. Because that would have been actually better than, not replenishment, but uh, caressing prayer. Because that would have been better with than the, uh, uh, what do you call it? This replenishment. Because I don't, I, now I know why I took it off. Because it's kind of, it's kind of real slow in a way, you know? But I'll keep the heal up so I remember that I have it. It should be okay for now. I'm just going to go up and get my souls. And they're right here. And I think I could probably jump to that area from another spot. For sure. Yeah. Okay, that was actually rather challenging. Like this part of uh, Dark Souls Two is getting uh, is getting much better. Oh, <laughs> it's kind of like that because it feels great to use it in in Dark Souls Two. <laughs> Umreda. Okay, this is where I may die here too. There's a lot of these uh, these strong characters here. Oh, this guy. I think I'm just going to aggro him. Oh, I got a backstab on him. That's good. Cool. I'm not sure if there's going to be an enemy here. Now, this is kind of funny here because you have to... This is a bonfire. Very cool. So we could fix that uh, caressing prayer issue. You know, caressing prayer, your favorite uh, miracle, Womb Raider. <laughs> uh, let's light a torch and let's burn this place down. Okay. Womb Raider, if you burn that, it, like all the, there's like poison traps and all that, they go away. And there's a boss here at the end of this uh, area that is, she is in a pool of poison and uh, she just, she gets uh, healed by it and you get killed by it. So it makes it easier if you do that. But the controversy with it for this game is that no one knew that you actually had to do that. And there's no indication that you have to do it. So that was the big deal about that. And there's something over there. 
but I can't get there yet. So, okay, you know what? I'm just going to quickly travel to Majula because, uh, gosh darn, I think I have enough to buy the, the pseudo armor that I want. I know, call me vain. It's, it's Sally. It's not me. It's Sally. She's just been like that since I've known her. Just don't tell her that while she's in warp. Don't mention it. Oh, hey. Hey, Sally. Okay. Oh, my summon sign disappeared. That's okay. I forgot all about it, actually. It wasn't getting too much attention there. Hey, dude. Oh. Did I buy anything by mistake? No. Okay. <laughs> I did not. All right. All right. Let's look at this. Okay. I, I hope that this satisfies my armor need for... Uh, uh, for Thanks this game. Very much. You're welcome. Come again. And I don't know if I have any souls to pop because and if I did, it would be nice because I could maybe buy a miracle. Did I pick anything up yet? No. I need that bigger miracle, but I th that's not a big deal. But in the meantime, let's change up Sally's armor. What do you think? What do you think, Room Raider? I'm going to change the leggings too, but. I think it's pretty cool. The leggings need to be uh, something silver, I think. Oh, I'm way over as well. So. That didn't help at all. I don't even know if I could wear this armor now. Uh-oh. I'm in trouble. I know what I can do. I can... What were the ones that I had on? Were they those them? I don't think so. I think it was those. Yeah. Maybe I have to change the helm. To something a lot lighter. See? But that's not nice either. Hmm. I'm having a dilemma here, guys. I'm having a dilemma. No. Okay, wait a minute. All right. Sorry, I have to show your legs. <laughs> ah, not so much. Let's let's do fashion. And then we'll we'll see what we got after, right? What are those? Those are the night leggings. But look, we're almost to our capacity just with the leggings on, right? And so I have to get something that looks cool, but it's not too not too heavy. And I think that might work. It's the wrong color. It's the wrong color. That's the only problem. Um, the night leggings, of course. Uh, but this this might work for me uh, for the time being. Yeah. Yeah, I think that might work for me. Right? And we can try Well, we're getting we're getting good. This this is good. This is good. But I think I had these on which it keeps me light. It must have been the heavy leggings. And let's see if we can keep that helm that the helm on. Oh, yes. So it was just the the really heavy leggings. So let's mess around with uh getting some leggings here. Let's see if we can get close to... Well, those don't look good, but they have a heavier... I think what we had on were the coolest. You know, those kind of work for me too. So it's between this one... Yeah, I know, she always wants to change the clothes. And these ones, these ones, uh, I think, I think I picked the ones that these, uh, I can't wear. Unfortunately, I can't wear any of these right now, but I think, um, yeah, that's why they were so heavy. I think the Wanderer's boots will, will work for me right now. And, uh, this is working for me. All right. Yes. See, it, it looks great. Uh, 
this armor set, right? So let's fix the. Let's let's fix my my spells. What I have attuned, and we'll go back and we'll start battling that area. <laughs> it's quite a fight over there. All right, attuned spells, and this replenishment's not working for me. I forgot caressing prayer. I don't know why I took it off. I think I took the wrong one off. I don't I don't know what I did, but the heal. Uh, I don't, do I even do I have great heal? Oh no, I just have two magic barriers. But we'll get we'll get a great heal excerpt uh, soon. Uh, whenever we get enough souls, I think it's like two thousand or something like that. And we'll come back and, and grab it. It's not a big deal, right? Because it's um, like I said that there's the load times are are easy with this game, which I love. I love travel, being able to travel around and. The load times don't really hurt you, you know. It's just a couple of seconds. It's not so bad. It, it gives, uh, it opens up the game in a way, you know. All right. Oh, let's battle this a little more. <laughs> but uh, since they're giving me a little bit of trouble, I'm going to buff up because I like to hammer these guys. Oh, did I just do that? You know what? I'm going to rest at the fire. <laughs> if you switch your hands, you lose the, the buff. <laughs> I don't know how to play. I used to be able to play. But now I forgot. And we'll just put my shield on and we'll... Now this guy, I don't think he attacks yet. Oh, I hate these guys so much. Oh, see, that guy locks you out. Yeah, I don't. I know. I see you there. Yeah. He locks you out. And there's like a trap. And there's guys that fall here. Where are you guys? I hear him. I saw him. Maybe I didn't see him. Like I get poisoned so fast. It's not even fair. It's not even fair almost. But I guess I could keep care of my uh, I, could, I guess I could keep care of myself pretty good now that I got Crescent Prayer. It doesn't matter so much, I suppose. Now I'm just complaining, right? <laughs> Mannequin Mask, which is like the creepiest thing. The funny thing is, is that they have a, it's a mannequin mask, but they don't have any heads. So you make you make sense of that. I wonder what troll is going to get me up here now. These guys heard something again. There they are. These guys are really acrobatic and I bet you there's a thousand of them here look at that it's him with that poison arrow I think he's a troll I'm not gonna go for him I'm not sure, but I thought this was the illusory wall. I guess not. My mistake. There's no way that this is going to be enemy free. What's going on here?
Oh, this is the the necromancer, but there's another enemy here. This game is scaring the heck out of me. <laughs> oh, drop something. Malformed claws. That's cool. So I know that now there's a pyromancer here. Lingering crescent ring plus one. Wow. That's a big ring, don't you think, to give out as a drop? So the boss is right there, guys, so I could just run to the boss, really. But we'll have to do, like, the rest of the area for sure, right? And have to get that item there, too. Somehow. <laughs> okay, hang on, guys. I need a drink. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, you know, you can see with Crescent Prayer, the 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 poison isn't so bad. I think I'm just getting, I'm getting ambushed again by something. I heard another fall. Another attacking enemy. No, I guess I'm wrong. You see, I think if I didn't do what I did with that windmill, this whole area, see the bowls here? That would be filled with poison. It's awful. Oh, my head wound. Okay, I'm okay now. Sometimes it acts up. <laughs> uh. Oh, all right. I kind of don't. I want. Oh! I did not want to do that. Totally not want to do that. Let me get back up there. Anyway, I know that that area is progress, but I want to kind of explore this area. I think there's no... The moveset on those guys is just kind of peculiar, you know? It's unusual, and uh, it's kind of hard to uh, figure out, really. Instead of using my arrows, because I'm getting kind of low, let's see if I equip some, some knives. I got these lacerating knives I'm going to use. And let's see if I can aim here. Yeah. Break a couple of these up. I think there's enemies in here too. Let's wait for them to rise up. I hate these guys. Oh.
Why? Oh my gosh. They are just so strong. What is going on with them? There is something underneath this as well. I know there is. There's something funny here. Okay, wait a minute. Just let me heal up. Those mannequins are very dangerous. It's I I do not remember them being like that. <laughs> That's strong. <laughs> but I like it. Oh. Really? Okay. There's a lever here somewhere. Where is it? I thought there was... Oh, it's probably in the hallway here. It was probably right behind me. Yeah, here it is. There's just some item here. I'm not sure exactly what it is. Oh, it's a soul. So that's good that I, pr I appreciate that because I need some souls to get the, that uh, that miracle that I want. What is in here? <laughs> There's a lot of enemies here that... I think there's pyromancers up there too. There's another guy. Oh my gosh, there's so many trolls here. Oh, this is Pete. Well, we meet again. There's treasure this way, but I have a bad feeling about it. I don't quite have the guts myself. <laughs> I think this is the the run and jump one that we meet again. it's rather difficult, I think. I'm this gonna get killed here. I'll probably lose my bad feeling about it. my will to do it after a while. I don't quite have the guts myself. <laughs> well, we meet again. There's treasure this way, but I have a bad feeling about it. I don't quite have the guts myself. Okay, he didn't doesn't say too much there. Oh. So I must have to um, get it from the other side, I suppose. Crazy. So I hate that noise that they make cuz it sounds like a, a jumping, like someone's um it looks like a, there's an item here. No. Or maybe there was. I'm not sure which way to go, but I heard him that time. You gotta watch it. These guys are trolls. You know the... Great heavy soul arrow. I see. That's... That's the big prize for... For completing this, I suppose. Well, good to see that you survived. Perhaps you're more rugged than I thought. <laughs> In any case, the treasure is yours, since you went ahead and took the leap. Mm, thank you. I prefer a more cautious approach. It's hard to know who to even trust these days. For instance, I've heard that a man is out for my life. What misunderstanding could have ever led to that? The poor bloke must have quite an imagination. Excuse me, I think we're going to have to backtrack for this guy too. Did we do things out of order or is it... Are the NPCs always... Is it always kind of back... I guess it's always like back and forth with the NPCs, isn't it? You be careful too, my friend. For trust can be a dangerous thing. 
careful too. Okay, so he's done, and I'm. Oh! Did I poison myself? No. I think that uh, he is. Um, he's going to be back at that cathedral entrance area, you know. And I think that I kind of want to try this stupid jump for some reason. Don't ask me why. Is there a reason why I can't hit that? Is it just out of my rate, my range? Is that why? Does he ever put a shield down? I think I just have to make the jump, I suppose. That's what they want you to do. I think I have to jump to the side here. Okay, let's see what this is. Poison? What is it? Nothing. Okay. Soul of a brave warrior and some crimson water. Okay. And, oh, a drop. Silverback spear. I guess someone probably think that's cool. Not I. I hope that this is cool. Oh, my gosh. Now, how am I supposed to make it back? I don't think I'm going to. Oh, well. Oh, my God. <laughs> Woo! What kind of crazy Dark Souls 2 jump was that? Anyway, that was actually... That went rather well. So let's move forward and see how we can make this rather well turn into a... a holy crap balls. And that, that's how you do it. Right there. Did you get a load of that damage? Wow. I think a little bit more of a cautious approach would. I thought there was two. Oh, there was two, but I, I see I'm on the other side of that fan now. That's cool. That's cool. Okay. So, that was terrifying, by the way. Or is this another fan? This is the same fan. Okay. Oh, I was trying to make my way across. That hollow there is uh, m making it seem like I, I haven't been here yet. So, I guess that way that we saw earlier with those two mannequins at the end is the way to go. Uh, move forward, I guess, or to clear the area. But we'll see what this is. Not a mimic, but it could be a trap. Okay. And, you know, I'm going to see if I have any of this uh, grass. I collect a bunch of this, and if I use some, I get more heals. I think I do. Yep. Like, I get a replenishment. Cool. Dark Souls mechanics, ladies and gentlemen. Dark Souls mechanics. A Ferris Lockstone. That's very good. You know, they give you a lot of these. I wish you. I wish they gave you. Um, yeah, I guess you know what. If I go this way now, it will give me. Yeah, bring me right to the area that I need to go, which I kind of don't want to go. Maybe if I could get just one of these guys it would be a little easier for me it was oh I want to give those guys such a pinch <laughs> Really? Oh, this is um, um, Nick Finnegan area, is it not? 
I think it is. Uh, let's let's uh, check it out. And uh, let's, let's let's do a life gem since I only got one left. See if I have any other style. Oh, I have um, the other kind as well. If you haven't noticed, I really like healing. <laughs> you know, there's a, a hollow here which I'll probably just get out of the way for now. And I know that. Oh, I see. This is the short. Uh, it's a shortcut. I see. Uh, Okay, that brings me back here, but so what? You know. Anyway. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. And I think the gentleman is right here. And I think he gets this for a couple of grand as well now. Let's see what he says. Shush. You idiot. Stay quiet. <laughs> I'm on the run. Don't give me away. See, we gotta oh, talk to Moon Raider away. because we need him back at the Majula. We don't yeah. actually need him. It's Why just nice to have him there. He puts you, he gives you ladders for the pit. It's got death written all over it. You want to climb down here? I can lend you a ladder. He's like, he sounds like Fat Bastard Go from uh, the Austin Power How movies. <laughs> Mike Myers, thank you. It's a good Why it's a good voiceover. I'm trying to help you, you know. Have you no gratitude? Downright rude, really. I, 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 I've, got, I've got a soft heart, so I, I let you off this once. All right. It'll be just a moment. Oh, he has to go so out of his way. <laughs> but he gets—he has a ladder always handy. You know, I guess he just uh, just kind of carries them around with him. Must be retractable. Ah, uh, go on ahead. I won't offer this deal twice. Oh, what is it? What do you need now? Huh? Oh, he becomes oh, a good gesture. That's cool. Did you say anything else? Have you heard? Oh, he's got a lot of dialogue. Well, apparently, there's this monster lady, right? And the poison well, does wonders for her body. So here's the hint that you're supposed to you know, burn the beauty. That's burn the windmill, I think. And I thought only human women were so. Petty. This guy has that issues. Creature. She was human once, you know. Yeah. In fact, she was wed to the prince of that nearby castle. But her husband? Uh, he had feelings for another. The princess was desperate and sought eternal beauty. Hoping that it would restore the prince's uh, affection. <laughs> you see what I mean? <laughs> Before long, the princess's ire transformed her into a monster. Now, listen here. When do you think this all happened? Long ago, when this very land was called something else. We say Dranglick now, but... Countless kingdoms have risen. And fall on this very spot. No, I know. I, I got the DLC and in this part won't three. Be the last? Oh, no. That damned hag just can't let her old flame go. She's going this to guy has, This guy has a lot of dialogue. God almighty. I'm not going to die in this dump. God's okay, he's done. He's done. So let's go. What are you talking about? I just bought a ladder off you for 2,000 souls. Rude. You're the rude one for selling it to me for 2,000 souls. Usually they're just free lying around everywhere. A Pharos Lockstone and Twinkling Titanite. That's cool. 
I don't think it's so much of the pickup as opposed to it introducing McFinnigan, the beloved, beloved, I may add, McFinnigan, to Dark Souls 2. Oh, what? So I don't think he God, says it. No, he doesn't say anything now. Find it. All the best. Anyway, so there is one more bonfire that uh, I would like to find. before we move forward to the boss. Again, not a necessary uh, not a necessary uh, thing to get, but uh, Pate is done, I think, right? Is he even there? Yeah, he's there, but we're finished with him, I'm sure. Um, this was the yeah, the jump and all that. Like, I, you know what I'm missing out on is the that pyromancy lady in the on the uh, on the balcony. I don't know where that is exactly. Right, but we'll we'll find it. We'll find it. Or maybe not. Now, now I don't know where to go. I know I kind of... Oh, here, this way, this way. Because the... the um... Wait a minute. I killed the pyromancy lady here. But where was the... Um, that other area? Okay, now I'm getting messed up. Anyway, I'll find it. I'll find it, guys. Let me give it a... Give it a couple more rounds here in my mind. <laughs> okay, I keep on coming back here, which is clearly not the right place. So, this way. Oh. No, I, I thought there may have been another door here. It came from there. Hmm. Hang on. No, I just walked through there. Okay. So we did all that. I think let's go back here and up this ladder. Because I think I found that area through here. You know? And it was through here, I think. Because that way... I want to look for that... Um, that pyromancy lady, and I don't think it was. Yeah, this it wasn't here. It was another area. But I just want to make sure that this is. Yeah, this is the way forward, and I think maybe that pyromancer is up here. Not here, but look, she's dead. <laughs> oh, the carnage! <laughs> I think it's right here, actually. I think she's right here. No. Oh, I remember this thing. Okay, we could come back here. That's just a room with a... This is the, the area that I'm looking for in one way. There's a bonfire here, you see. Let's see what this item is. A petrified something, that's cool. All right, and I think we can even drop down. Oh, see, this is where the boss fight is. You can just drop down there and battle those guys a little bit or just run through them. I just want to light this bonfire quickly. Okay, now we're all set up for the boss. But I know that I missed a couple of things that I wanted to get. Well, at least one thing. And that's that pyromancer. And it's kind of crazy why I can't find it. I can't find her her hallway. But let's do this uh, bloody area here. Or this... this uh... Or is it here? No. Anyway, let's... Um, let's deal with this mud. Or this... Uh... All these guys in here. A 
I think I have to buy some bolts as well. I don't want to get poisoned. I do not like poison in this game. These guys really light up with the fire, though, eh? <laughs> Small and silky. <laughs> I know what's beside me here. And it is a hey, green boss, and that's cool. This is probably just an anti... Uh... Okay, let's over-prepare for this mimic here. Much now that I say over-prepare, uh, the mimic's going to smoke me. Okay, maybe not. Dark gauntlets and a work hook. Both sound deathly. Okay. Now, we got to find this this crazy crazy pyromancy on a balcony. And I'm going to do it now before we have to before I hit the bonfire or anything like that and I don't want to fight those guys for no apparent reason at all so we could fight them after but first I want to find my pyromancy girl and kill her <laughs> and I just we'll, we'll find it we'll find it You know, I can't believe it's not here. And every time I come here, I hear a door that terrifies me. There's something, you know? It's one of those. All right, let's go this way. I did it again. Oh, you know what? No, this is the bonfire. I thought there was... Because um, I know there's that item here, I think, that I didn't get yet as well. Oh, that's where the pate the pate is, right? And I have to jump down and get that. But I don't know what that is. Well, I'll figure that out and see if it's worth it. Or we'll just do it right before we go. Anyway, I think we figured that out, right? So if I can get a heal in because I'm a dum dum. And I almost killed myself for no reason. <laughs> Alright. Let's go this way, because maybe I haven't explored this area as much as I should have. And No, no, this is... Um, yeah, that spot, right? So I have been here many times. You thought I was going to fall down, didn't you? That's okay, so did I. Like, oh my gosh, there's an area uh, that I'm completely neglecting to remember, you know. And I don't think it's, she's anywhere here, right? Now, this is not where she would be. And I don't think anywhere here, right? No. You guys are probably going crazy with this right now, aren't you? Oh my gosh, and I'm back here again. I just... Oh, maybe... Okay. Let's just try one more time. To try to find out. I think that it's at maybe closer to the beginning. And I'm driving people nuts by because I'm going in a circle. And I just trap myself. And I poison myself. Now I'm just being dummy. It is not through here. It's just those are the two guys. That's the boss fight. There's nothing on the other side there. It's just those couple of enemies there. It is not that. Okay. 
I feel like I'm missing a hallway or something. You know, it, it just... Oh. Come on, I did that, did I not? Uh, I don't know. A dragon chime. That's... That's pretty good, isn't it? No, that's the key. Um, where are the chimes and things like that? See, was it a chime? Like, I don't understand what these dragon chimes are. It must be an item. They must be just item. It must be just an item. Oh. You know, it doesn't it doesn't make any sense, ladies and gentlemen. It does not make any sense. Anyway, we got the pyromancer. <laughs> okay, and we are ready to take on the boss. But before we do, I'd like to. Um, well, those guys we will fight when we take on the boss. What I'd like to do is I want to go back to Majula and get a. Um, Get my great heal excerpt, okay? Because I can now. Also, I'm going to get some, some heavier bolts, right? Or some heavy bolts or whatever. I'm going to think about, instead of heavy bolts, I think I'm just going to... Oh, I got a... Oh, I don't know what that means. Oh, maybe because I have a lot of NPCs here because F McFinnigan came. Maybe I got all the NPCs here. See, there he is right there. But before we go to talk to him, hang on. Sorry, I didn't mean to, to do that. But let's see if I can get this great heal excerpt as well. I'm pretty sure she has it, but I've been mistaken here before. Yeah, the great heal excerpt. It's expensive, but it's great to heal with. And I have the stats for it and everything and yada, 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 you know? Oh, I didn't buy it. The gods frown. Just that. There we go. <laughs> die, die. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yes, get me out of your dialogue box. I don't want to listen to you. <laughs> Alright, let's go see what McFinnigan has to say. Where is he? There he is. Wait. You found your way out too. <laughs> the name's Gilligan. Oh, Gilligan. Don't make me say it twice. <laughs> I was calling him after the... The blacksmith, I think. <laughs> Sorry. I have everything you need. <laughs> so, Womb Raider, yeah, he becomes like a... He just becomes a merchant. Oh. What is this? Oh, this is, he has the black leather armor, which is kind of cool, actually. I think I used that quite a few times in other playthroughs. And he has a ladder, you see. He has... I think you need this little, the little ladder for 8,000. I don't know what that is exactly. I'm not sure what this is. Oh, it's just an ornament. I don't know. It looks like a troll. So I think he sells ladders. See? You want to go down that awful hole? Fine. Sure, fine. I'm happy to be of service. You need a ladder then? Sure enough. But so I guess he has two stores. Eh? He could pay for two ice peas. Yeah. See, yeah, I usually get all three of them, but not right now because I want to get some. I want to go to McDuff's and get, excuse me, and get um, get some arrows. I need arrows. I, I just don't have any. And the the fire arrows and everything, they're cool. But you know what? That's what I was trying to say. 
I'm just going to get like regular bolts. I don't know if he sells regular bolts like an unlimited amount. He does like wood bolts. And um, yeah, then he, oh, I see he has heavy bolts now, but not right now. He doesn't see only sold so many. So I'm just going to get a bunch of these. Like, how many can I buy right now? 27? Okay, so let me pop a soul. Because I'm thinking about starting to upgrade the the big uh, the big hammer that we got for uh, what do you call that place for the uh, the iron place after earth and peak here so let's pop these souls here see what how much how many how much soulage we get I'm just burning the consumables not so much but enough to do some Enough to get enough, uh, some wood arrows that, like a decent amount of wood arrows anyway. And oh, I can get 300 of them. So I could, um, no, oh, that's too many. Oh, I'm going too far. Okay, I'll just, I'll go this way. It's not going to take too long. I was thinking I'll get like 100, 120 of them, something like that. That would get me by for now. And then we'll see if we could start upgrading that, the big hammer. I should have went the other way, I suppose. Yeah, that's that's about right. Okay. Now, let's see if we can reinforce some weapon. A little weapon. Ooh. Yeah. And that is the large club. Yes, I have twenty. I need twenty six strength, but we're almost there. And I could start dual wielding it, uh, dual handing it too. But I just didn't feel like doing that. You know, I figured I'd just wait. We have a lot of titanite shards, so I think we could. Large titanite shards, we have a lot, but I don't think we're. I think we're going to run out of souls before. Yeah, so I need thirteen hundred souls to. So how far did we go? We got to plus five. I could probably, probably, you know, plus plus seven at least, right? So anyway, we're at two eighty eight the damage right now, but this thing keeps going up and up like it's crazy. All right, well, let's see how much damage it is now. So, from what I have, what do I have now? Like, I'm not even sure if I could even read the um, the damage output of my character. I think it's, oh, I, I, I just don't know. Let's see what this does. Ah, uh, here we go. The right weapon is, uh, wow, I don't know which one it is. Hang on. So that's weapon three. So let's put the, the club on it. Yeah, I know. I know. Look at the club, though. Look how awesome this is. Right? But I, I, I know I'll have to retune what I'm wearing and things like that. But I could wear it right now. I could I could bump it up now. So there's an you know R2. And this is an R1. <laughs> so it's kind of cool, right? And you could follow up with a quick R1 too. Like it goes, it's it's quite a, but I can't, I, I want to single hand it so I can just use it as a regular weapon. Like, isn't that crazy? <laughs> yeah. Dark Souls Hell Angels. Yeah, we call those Dark Wraiths. Yeah, they do exist out there. But black leather, yeah. Yeah. Could work. <laughs> Umreda. Anyway, look at this, eh? You like the club? I'm gonna be using it soon. I was just upgrading it, but I, I lost. Um, how do you say it? I lost. Uh, I, I ran out of souls, basically. Uh, anyway, guys, I'm going to call it an episode. Uh, it, it's been a blast uh, running through Earth and, Earth and Peak with you guys. It's it's been really fun. So uh, next time we'll do the boss and we'll go into the fiery iron domain. Uh, which I forgot what was it was called, but we'll we'll get there and we'll read what it says when we get there. <laughs> Sally, a wonderful performance as always. I bow to you as well. All right, <laughs> Ivan Spoto, and this is uh, my playthrough of Dark Souls Two. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye.